Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another Cognos Report Studio video and this video is based on one of my viewer request and in this report we have a requirement we need to hide a column if it contains null value for all rows. So this is my order report and let me quickly change the city so let me select this one and in this uh, no we are not able to see our uh, column okay so ship region we have a condition of ship region if all the rows contain null value then we are we are hiding this column so how to achieve this requirement we are going to cover in this video this is my Sangvi and thanks for tuning in the demo In this video for creating this report let me open report studio and i'm going to click on new blank report uh, no i want a list report so i'm going to select this and i'm going to click on ok and let me quickly edit our title i forgot to add title in my demo report so i'm going to click on order and i want a what i want i want a prompt value prompt for this let me quickly add a block and then inside this i am going to quickly add a value prompt and i need to name the parameter name is p let me cancel this first let me add a data inside our list so I'm going to select everything and then I need to select my list. I want to add a padding, top padding. So I'm going to select margin. Let's say 20 pixel I want and on the top apply. Okay. And inside this block, I'm going to I'm going to add value prompt. So where is my value prompt? Here it is. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to add this inside my block. My parameter name I want p uh, p under or uh, p city let's say and then I'm to click on next yes I want to create a parameter as filter what I want I want uh, order city so let me select city from the order table in practical scenario I'm not going to use city from the order table you must need to use other table. But for the demonstration purpose, I am using CT from the same order table. Why we are not going to select CT from order table? So let's say, so I am creating this report for let's say Amazon. So Amazon is selling products in all over the world. And let's say of at 1st of January, I have only one order in order table. Then in my CT, I am able to see only one CT. For the first order so that's why we are not going to select city from the order table you must need to select city from the actual address table or reason table but for the demonstration i'm going to use city from the order table okay so let me make this filter as an optional i'm going to select this and i'm going to create a query for this i want to populate data inside this so i'm going to select yes i want to populate data from uh, order city and I'm going to use this as a display and use value and finally I'm going to click on OK. So this is our value prompt. It is ready and I also want to change this uh, allow submit to true. OK and I'm going to save this report. So let's see height column if null to click on save. Okay, so our report is almost ready now for our hiding this column so let me quickly add a color for this so we are able to identify this column easily now for hiding this column i am going to add a new data item inside our query so for hiding ship reason i am going to add a new data item i am going to select this and i am 
to add a new data item here i need to simply say it's count and i'm going to type this shape reason count okay and then i'm to add my ship reason here yes i want to add this validate everything is fine okay i'm going to expand its properties and i'm going to say the aggregate function must be a count similarly i'm going to select this all count okay and finally we are going to add a variable which is going to control the visibility for our ship reason so i am going to add the boolean variable and i am going to add our count reason and if if our count ship reason is greater than 0 then only display our ship reason column okay so i am going to set boolean hide ship reason okay and i'm going to select my report page i'm going to select my ship reason and then i'm going to select this arrow and then i'm going to select list column and i'm going to select render variable for this we are going to select our boolean and then we are going to click on ok now we are ready so this is how you can hide your ship reason and the last step we need to modify list property for this i'm going to select my list and then properties i'm going to click on this i'm going to select my count ship reason okay save your report and run your report my ship reason is not visible my ship reason is again not visible i selected another a city and now my ship reason is visible so let me try one more time yes and my ship reason is now visible in this demo video we in this demo video we are controlling the visibility for only one column and if you want to control let's say if you want to control visibility for ship via then you need to perform the same step you need to first go to query and then you need to add a new data item and you need to calculate the count for a ship via and then you need to create a variable boolean variable for ship via and then you need to apply render variable for ship via and the last thing you need to add the ship via account ship via in list property the concept behind this is so for the concept let me open uh, query editor and inside this i need to simply execute this query so we are executing this query for london and for london the ship reason is null and if i am going to count for ship reason okay if i am going to count for ship reason then for london the count is zero so the concept is if for a column all the values are null then count is zero okay and if our ship reason contains at least one value then the count for ship reason is greater than zero if our count is equal to zero then hide column and if it is not equal to zero display the column so this is a concept to show and hide column based on the count so i hope now you are able to control the visibility for your uh, column based on the null value so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe share it with your friend provide your feedback and see you all in next commerce report studio video some important URLs.